Okay, so here's the assembly of my ISSC uh, MK22. I took all the parts out of the box. You can go look at the unboxing video if you like. Uh, basically, what we're going to start with is we're going to take away the magazine here. And let's start with the most important thing. Now, there's a few extra parts in here that you don't really need. Uh, one of them is this, the manual. Who needs a manual? Now, one of the things I did notice was the little shaft that holds that holds the uh, stock on, which would be this part right here. As a matter of fact, let's empty it all out because we're going to need this in a minute. This little uh, piece right here, I don't know if it shows up or not, has a knurled edging right here. And when you put it on the stock, <clears throat> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold today. Um, when you put it on the stock, then it shows it going in from the bottom. But one of the things I noticed is this knurled piece is harder to drive in because it's it's got to etch its way into the into the plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put it in from the top. The reason being is when this is all lined up, the knurls end up in the middle of this uh, piece, as opposed to right on the edge between this piece and the actual. Uh, Part of the gun. So what mean what that means is that the knurled parts don't have to when you're swiveling the uh, stock, it won't rub on those little knurls. So let's do that first. There we go. I just clipped it in on the bottom. There's the knurls. And I'm gonna try to drive it in with my hand first. It's a bit tough. So let's use our little handy dandy plastic hammer. These are great. By the way, the dollar store is a great place for this kind of stuff. So there you have it. That, that was uh, pretty easy. Went in uh, nice and gentle like. The only thing it can use is perhaps uh, uh, maybe a little bit later what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna even it out. But for now it's okay. Stock flip back, clips in, beautiful, unclips, looks gorgeous. I absolutely love that. I think it looks fantastic. All right, let's move on to the second part. Let's remove this lock, and for those of you who want to make one of these tools, you can just go look at one of my other videos and you'll see how to make it. Some people like to uh, just weld those keys onto the end of a piece of metal, but I'm going to be honest with you, uh, this is cheaper, better, faster, and you can take it apart and still use it as a screwdriver. Uh, this screw is actually fairly long and that's why those things are come in really handy. Otherwise, if you just had the key in your hand, you'd be turning forever. All right, let's take that out of the way. Awesome. Now that we have uh, that done, let's take the charging handle and put it in. Let's just put it back here. As a matter of fact, according to uh, ISSG, you can mount it here, 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 or on the other side, whichever you prefer. I'm just going to mount it here because that seems to be the best place where uh, I kind of liked it uh, a little while back. Let's crank this back. Let's remove the safety flag which comes with the firearm, which means that there is no rounds in the action, no magazine, firearm is clear. Now, you should not dry fire um, a 22, as most of you know, so we're not going to do that. Um, safe, works, yep, you can feel the sponginess. This is very awesome, and that didn't take very long. That looks pretty awesome. Rear sight. Okay, the rear sight, it's going to take a little bit longer because I think once you remove the screw, which places it on the rail, you have to slide this piece from the front all the way to the back. 
Okay, the rear sight's going to slide on to the back, all the way down to the back. Let's line up the edge of the hole. There we go. Now it's always a good idea to keep your finger on one side just to make sure that the nut that's provided doesn't slide off. There you have it. Would be better if we use the right Allen key. Let's tighten that up. I think it could use a little bit more. There we have it, nice and tight. Let's move on to the front sight. Make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't move around, and it does. Function check. Awesome. Looks fantastic. I'm really glad they didn't send me the, uh, the tan sights. I think this looks uh, so much better. Action stays open with the magazine in. That function check looks great. This is turning out to be a wonderful project. Well, there you have it. That didn't take long. We fully assembled it. It's ready to take to the range. So hopefully tomorrow when we do that, we'll be able to show you. Now, one of the things I did not like is the fact that these magazines do not have stainless steel feed ramps. I wish they did, but nonetheless, that's how it goes. I meant to actually talk about this little thing back here. Not a lot of people talk about it, but if you can see and you can hear that, that's a loose cover. That means that that is an opening. And you can see it's been cut out over here. I'm just going to use a small screwdriver. Just pop this off. Pops off nice and easy, and there you have it. Cover comes off, and you have a nice storage right in the handle. And it looks a lot like uh, a regular uh, storage handle. And I would say there's enough room in there for, for quite a bit of stuff. It's actually pretty hollow, and um, the little cover snaps right back in just like that and I think you can pry that off with any small object either a key or a screwdriver or anything that you might have handy but it's not it doesn't quickly come off so if you need it to quickly come off that will not work but it's a nice addition anyway one of the useful things for that uh, little door is uh, gonna be for me let's pop this off again the front side adjustment tool that we'll always have it with me. I always like to have some clean patches so in order for the uh, side adjustment tool not to rattle around in the handle I'm just going to wrap it in some patches and stick it right in there. There you go. Now I'll always have patches and the front sight alignment tool. Let's see if it goes in any better this way. And it does. There you have it, folks.